Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I do this poodle look with my Betty Bangs. So I'm just um, spraying in some anti-frizz, anti-humidity hairspray. Um, I'll list that down below. My hair, I washed it and then I did a dog walk, so I just tied it up. But I'm just going to split it into two and slowly get rid of some of that frizz. Um, I've got a bit of a natural wave, so if you've got natural volume or curl, um, this is a good video for you in regards to how to put up um, medium to long hair into a poodle and relatively easy. Um, I do a twist on this in regards to how I set up my poodle hairstyle. Um, I'm going to be using some of these long clips to section the hair, but I'll also be adding in a fake hair piece. And most people use that fake hair piece as their poodle. And instead, I'm going to use it as volume and I'm going to wrap my top hair around it us uh, because I added in green highlights. So the fake hair piece is black, my hair is a black green, and I wanted to have some of that highlight in my poodle instead of using fake hair. So I'm just taking a Helena Troy one inch gold series iron. I'm loosely doing some curls. Um, in retrospect, at the end of this, I could have just curled it on top, but it's nice to give it some structure. So I'm gonna go around and just take some large sections, one inch or slightly larger. I know, totally messy. I should have just sectioned it a little bit better. But um, the point of this video is to show you how you can just turn your hair into a really cute pinup poodle style without much effort. So bear with me. Don't get scared at the curling technique. Um, you can be much better at and section it off. And normally I would. I was just trying to put this together and um, just popping in some curls really quickly. I really want those curls to be at the end. And I've got them in the middle more right now. I wasn't paying attention to my ends. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to curl the ends uh, just to make it a little bit neater. So I apologize if this isn't neat um, the first try and the first go. But this is life and this sometimes happens and it's going to give you some insight into how to fix your hair and how to curl it. Um, like I said, not great curling. Um, I go back and I'm going to do some of these ends just to really smooth it out. And my hair is quite frizzy and messy right now from being in a den bun and doing some day walks out in the rain. So um, these are just some really great ways and tips to clean up that frizz and smooth out those ends and still get a really cute pinup look. It didn't take me long to do this. So um, if you have shorter hair, it should be a lot easier. The real trick to this uh, whole look is that I've used the hair piece underneath my hair to give it volume and to blend in my highlighted hair. So it's just a great thing to do in case you decide to highlight your hair and you have a hair piece, but you wanna mix it in. And I love having volume in my hair. I think it looks better. And I do a lot of volume styles in my photography. And I prefer to do looks for day to day if they're gonna be pinup or retro glamour that's gonna have a little more volume. And I also found it really held well. So I'm just going around again and just finishing off the other side, trying to be a little neater here for you and not rush it, but I'm doing some long ringlet curls with my one inch Helen of Troy Gold Series Iron. This is like my go-to for a lot of my vintage hairstyles. I use it for vintage waves, um, any kind of curling. It's just a nice thickness to it. It's not too big and it's not too small and it holds really well. So um, we're just gonna finish up another couple sections. You can take some smaller sections in the front. And if you notice, I'm curling under and out. Um, I'm not being too picky about the direction of the curl because we are gonna pull it all up, smooth the ends or smooth the, um, the base, and then individually roll those curls. So um, this is really just giving me volume because you're gonna take each uh, section of hair, you're gonna resection it and just kind of pin around the fake hair piece and then use a hairnet. So once again, I noticed some bigger pieces. You can see the big ringlets. It has cleaned it up quite a bit from when I first took it out of the den bun. So I'm gonna go in, um, you can add in some spray if you want. I'm gonna take a thick elastic. Now I'm just going to pull up my sides and the back of my hair and smooth it out as much as possible without wrecking the curls because you wanna keep them curly. You don't really wanna brush it out. It's not like a, a, a wet set or a wave or a page boy. So I'm gonna push the hair as far as it can go to the front because I want a nice poodle that hangs in the front. Um, and as you see, I'm just gonna grab all the hair. You are gonna use hairspray to smooth 
that base as well as bobby pins to crisscross and to make that base a little more stable. So you just want to section out your bangs as well. I am going to leave my bangs for this style. I'm not going to push it underneath the poodle. So just do a nice tight ponytail. Push it as much forward as you can, as far forward as you can. If it's too far back, it's it's nice, but um, it's not the look I wanted. So originally I wanted to do this off to the side. And later in the video, you're gonna see, I actually physically grab it and move it more to the center. I just thought it looked better. And that sometimes happens. You have a vision of how you're gonna do your hair and then it changes. Um, so I'm just gonna go in there and smooth some of those flyaways with some Sebastian Shaping Hairspray. Uh, if you really have a problem with flyaways or you're really worried about the pieces falling, use the Gotcha B Hairspray, it's amazing. And I use that on wigs. So I'm gonna go in, just do a light spray so I can continue to work with the hair. I don't want it too um, hard and stiff. You can take some of that got to be gel and like I said, continue to smooth those, those pieces that are kind of popping out. I wanna get it as clean as possible um, so that it isn't sagging or pulling around the middle or the base. I want it to be nice, smooth and tight. So now I've gone in and I put the hair piece over the ponytail. And I'm going around, you can see it uh, if you look closely, I'm taking sections of the hair, curling it, and then pinning it. I have two types of pins. I have the bobby pins, and then I have the bobby pin that opens up wider. So I'm gonna use the bobby pins around the front because they're a little bit stronger. But in the back, I used the wider bobby pin because I pinned them more on the top of the hair. I wanted you to see that curl and that highlight showing through. I'm gonna continue to go all around the hair. Um, it's not a big deal if the hair piece shows because it, it's basically going to look like it's blending in. And you just want to get a feel of where the curl is going in what direction. Basically, you're, you're curling it into pin curls and pinning it, as you can see right there. And I want to have some of that curl and pattern show. So just loosely kind of pin it all around this hair piece. I secured the hair piece down by pinning it around the base. I just used two pins in the back, crisscrossed it two at the one side and two on the other side and two in the front. So it was six pins to secure down the hair piece. I am gonna continue to go all around. At the moment, it seems like it's just a big mess, but be patient and just try and structure those curls the best you can. You don't have to worry about it being perfect because the hairnet's gonna pull it all in, but you do want some structure or pattern around the top and the front just to give it a bit of a look so it doesn't look like a big mess of hair. And I like this technique because I like using my real hair. I don't like the look of fake poodles. It's, I think they're too obvious, um, but that's personal choice. I like to mix in my own hair, but I do love the volume I get by adding this hair piece underneath and over the ponytail. So once again, you can take um, half an inch to an inch size sections. You decide based on the width of your hair and the volume. And I basically split the ponytail in half. So half is in front and half is behind. And I, th when I edited this little clip, I, I'm sorry it missed that, but um, you can see I'm wrapping it around. And that I find is the easiest way, with, way to work with your hair is take the ponytail once you put that hair piece on, split it in half. I've pinned the back so that I can just work around the front without a big mess of hair. If you have questions, feel free to leave them down below. Um, I know I missed a couple little pieces to this video, so I don't mind explaining it again. I tried this once, I didn't love it, I took it out again, and then I redid it. So I'm re-going around and just kind of shaping those curls, and you can see how I'm pinning those a little bit higher, just because I wanna show the highlight, and it's gonna show in the lighting better. And I'm using the wider pins to just kind of keep the, the shape of the curl and the smaller bobby pin to really pin it in for structure. So you can decide how you want that. And you can see this is a little bit more in the center than when I first did the ponytail. And I, you can gently just shift and pull, pull the hair out and like shape it. You can grab any of these loose ends and just pop in a little pin. Now I felt like my bangs were getting crushed so I pulled the poodle up a little bit, brushed out my bangs and decided to sweep them to the side. And then I'm just leveling out the top of the hair. Now you can see the back section. I split the other half of the hair in the back and I had it clipped. 
So now I'm gonna go around and do the same technique that I did in the front where I take sections of hair, half an inch to an inch, shape a curl and pin it. I'm going a little bit higher in the back so that um, it doesn't get crushed at the bottom and so you can see it at the top. A little bit of the anti-frizz uh, spray, anti-humidity spray, just to kind of get a, some of those frizzies down. You don't have to worry about it too much, like I said, because you're gonna put a hairnet. All these tools are available at Sally's and online on my Amazon store. I try to put them in there, so if you see something you like, it's very easy for you to click and purchase. I don't get a huge fee from it, um, but it's just, some, just to make it easier for you. If you wanna shop on Amazon and you don't have a Sally's close to you, or because of the current situation right now, you may or may not have one open. So um, that's just something to let you know that you can purchase these products. Now you can see it taking shape, and I've got a lot of volume which is what I wanted. I wanted a higher poodle. And I'm going and just twisting those pieces on top. And this is where I'm using the wider bobby pin to just, that's open. And I'll show you, um, well, actually I'm gonna list it below so you'll know what I mean. There's the closed tight bobby pin and then there's the one that's open. I think it has a name, but I can't remember it this time. And it just holds the style um, without changing the, or the, the width of the, the curl. Once again, I'm going all around. And just be patient and take your time with this. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you just wanna get that shape just so it shows on the back when you do put your hair net. You want a little bit of structure and a little bit of pretty in there. So as you can see, there is still some flyaway pieces, but like I said, don't worry about that. We're gonna put the hair net over it. You can get invisible hair nets and um, hair nets to match your hair color. Once again, I got those at Sally's. I'll list them in my Amazon store so it's easy for you to find. We're almost done and I'm just gonna to continue to go around. And just popping in and just kinda of getting those pieces down wherever I can. Last piece. And I was really happy about that. My arms are getting tired. Okay, so a nice little curl, pin curl, and we're just gonna pin that in. And then now we're just gonna take care of the little flyaways. You have a few pieces. And this is part of the challenge of doing your own hair. When you have somebody else doing your hair, it's like a real treat. Yep, my arms were tired. Um, so don't worry about it because the hairnet will pull it in. All right, I'm just looking for my hair right, my hair net right now. There we go. So I decided to use a black one and it's got two little ends on it. I just open it out. It can be tricky because it can get caught and messed up. You can kind of gently open it out and you'll see um, it just kind of unfolds. There's not only a couple bucks at Sally's, so it won't break the bank and they're worth it. Okay, and they're, I find them really strong. So I'm just gonna put that over top, the poodle, pull in those ends, and as you can see, it really helps to pull in all the loose ends, so you're not going nuts trying to pin everything down. I just took one pin and pinned it at the back, and then I might take another one, I believe I took another one and crisscrossed it. And when you crisscross your pins, it gives it structure and it doesn't come out. So I tucked it in very neatly, and I could have stopped here and just worn my poodle like this, but I decided to play with the bangs a little bit. I wasn't loving it. And then I added in some hair flowers. I didn't have to because it really uh, was really very neat looking, but I wanted to add in the flowers. I thought it was really cute. So I got these magenta hair flowers that I made and then just carefully placed them, small and large um, pieces. And I just kind of go around the bottom perimeter. If it is uh, your first time doing it and you find it a little messy or you've missed some pieces, it's a great way to kind of clean up the look. And as you can see, it turned out really cute and it was really simple to do. So the last step is to fix those bangs, which I will push to the side. I didn't love that blue one, but um, I do love doing different little mixes and combos. So I love magenta and blue. You can, you know, make these. I made these from Sally's. I just uh, glued on some hair clips, hot glued them to the back, and made sure that the flower is flat so it sits flat. And then I'm just gonna go in and play with these bangs. Um, and there you go. I pushed the bangs to the side. I decided to take that one blue flower out, 
put on my pinup top. I hope you guys like the video. Like, share, and subscribe.